Fair enough.
Greetings. I've got a number of pelts for sale today. Can I interest you? Uh... You know, I don't think we've met before. The name's Kuroto, and I'm a hunter by trade. This here crossbow's been my partner for longer than I care to remember. Together, we can snipe with more accuracy than any elf. That's quite a claim. Wait, yeah, I smell it now. You're trying to achieve something great, aren't you? Uh... I've been at this for a long time, and it's given me a keen sense of smell. There's not much that gets past me. The truth is, I'm seeking new companions to fight in my side. Of course you are. And here's the part where you tried to win me over, right? Another tried before, years ago. But if you're thinking to impress me with a show of prowess, think again. There's not a man or woman alive who can match me with a crossbow. Let's say I wanted to impress you anyway. Hmm. If you're that determined, you must have a good reason. How's this? Hunt me three wild boars. You'll find some in Redthroat Ridge to the east. You've finished your hunt already? Oh! And you've done exactly as I asked. Wild boars are ferocious creatures. It takes a tough hunter to bring down even one. So does that mean... Let's you and me have a little talk first. I adore the children of this town. I enjoy watching them grow up, in an almost fatherly sort of way, I suppose. Day by day, inch by inch, they live, learn and grow. Just like how a seed sprouts, before one day it finally flowers. But I can smell it. Change, and not for the better. Uh. The wind carries the scent here from afar. I'd hoped that I was reading it wrong, but since we first spoke, I feel it with a certainty. Whatever threat is out there is going to come here. It will steal these children's chance to blossom. So I've decided to join you. And that is my reason why. We're happy to have you.
Get your grimy hand away from me, scumbag! You want me to chop off your fingers and start shoving them up where the sun don't shine? Huh? Huh? That's weird. Oh, good day to you, sir. I heard some... Really nasty shouting. Are you okay? Oh, heavens! Did you come to check on me? That is so incredibly sweet of you. What a kind heart you have. My name is Francesca. Might I inquire as to yours? I'm Noah, from The Watch. Well, I am just tickled to meet you, Noah. This is an auspicious encounter indeed. I don't suppose the Watch is looking for healers? I command quite potent restorative magic, if I may be so bold. That's her. That's the one I was telling you about. Gave the broad a compliment, and she flipped her lid on me. That sweet little number? <laughs> if you say so. Hey, sugar, you want to come along with us and help clear up a little misunderstanding you had with my friend? Don't worry, Buttercup. We ain't gonna hurt you. Wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> what do you guys want? Stand back, Francesca. I'll handle this. Oh, Noah! We've only just met and you're willing to put yourself in danger for me? I don't know what to say. I'm sure anyone would do the same. Hmm. How I wish that were true. Since there does seem to be a misunderstanding, I believe it's best I clear it up. You're very gracious, Noah, but please, if I may? I can't let you leave with these men. Who knows what might happen? Oh, <laughs> I have some idea. You needn't worry about me. I'm a healer. Should things get heated, I have a gift for calming even the most agitated of hearts. Please, allow me to demonstrate. Don't make me go over there and break you, you gropey little pasty-faced, pigeon-licking, garbage-breath punks! Go fall off the mother-forsaken map! Yeah!
Yeep! Or does your friend have a chronic case of stupidity? Because I'm pretty sure I told you to keep your hands out of my zone, yeah? Or did I break your widow head with my big, big words? I'll say it again, real slow for you and your moron friends. I do not like you. I do not ever want to see you again. And if I do, you're dead. You hear me? Dead! Now get the hell out of my sight, maggots! <laughs> Going! So, Noah, where were we? Ah, oh, yes. I'm Francesca, and I would like to offer my healing magic to your cause, if it pleases you, of course. You have a place with us. Oh, I'm so delighted to hear that. Thank you, Noah. in my hands.
Yumei? Where are you? Yumei! Who's Yumei? Oh, are you travelers? Yumei is my granddaughter. Did you see her along the road? She's six years old and wears her hair in a bun. I haven't seen her, I'm sorry. Why? Is something wrong? She said she was going to the mountains to play with some new friend of hers. But then I heard there were sightings of some kind of big, hairy monster. I'm worried sick. If I weren't so old and frail, I'd go find her myself. I wish someone would check on her and make sure she's okay. Well, she can't have gone far. She's either at the mountain pass to the west or Redthroat Ridge to the east. Don't worry, I'll find her. Really? Oh, thank you, young man. Thank you.
Stop resisting, bandit! For the last time, I'm not a bandit! I'm a desperado! It's the same thing. Damn it! I didn't attack your stupid village! It's true! I came from a place where you rode your bronc like the wind, and sometimes you did bad stuff. But I'm done with that life! What's going on here? Nothing that concerns you, bub. So unless you want to get dragged into this, I suggest you keep walking. Yeah, I don't think I can do that. Why is this guy under suspicion? Are you kidding me? Look at how he's dressed! He couldn't be any more suspicious! Oh yeah, great sleuthing, Inspector Dumbface! I wear these duds because they were a gift for my desperado brothers. I'd rather die than change out of them! It does seem like you're accusing him based on how he looks. I'm not taking any chances. Bandits have been raiding our villages near the Imperial border. Didn't you hear? He's not a bandit. He's a desperado. That's what I've been trying to tell these morons! Except they got nothing but cotton between their ears. Desperados have a code of honor. We don't raid villages. Do you mind if I take it from here? Who are you? I'm Noah, from the Eltis Vice Watch. Oh. You're one of her ladyships. Fine. If you're willing to take responsibility, then knock yourself out. What do you think you're doing? It's okay. You can trust me. You said you didn't attack the village, right? Finally, someone with ears! I don't know what's wrong with you that you defend this guy. If anything bad happens, it's on you. Yep, got it. On me. Don't make me regret this. Thanks for the save, man. You're one upstanding guy. This has got to be fate or something. What do you say you let me join up with you? I came here to do big things. And I mean big. Big in what way? Big in a big way? What kind of question is that? The name's Yusuke. You're looking at one of the world's future titans. We're gonna make waves together, boss. I just know it. Welcome to the ranks. See, this guy knows what he's talking about.
walk all over you. Lens! So long. Not even worth sullying my blade. Oh there, friend. You like to fish? I used to love to fish back in my home village, but I don't even own a pole anymore. Shame. Even the greatest fisherman won't be catching much with just his hands. Here, take this one, friend. I can tell you're a good man, cause no bad man's a fan of the fish. Again, friend. Fish been biting for you?
just hate resorting to violence. Doesn't even count as exercise. Where's the challenge? Crap! Hup. It got away. Yes! Yep. It got away. Come on, come on! Ha! <laughs> nothing to it! Hup! Come on, come on! Perfect catch! Yeah. Come on, come on. Yes. Crap! Yep! Gotcha! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to it! Yep! Come on, come on. Ha, <laughs> nothing to it.
Ho there again, friend. Fish been biting for you? Ho there again. Ho there again, friend. This shouldn't be hard. Doesn't even count as exercise. Sullying my blade.
this! Take this! Bullseye! I'm finishing this! That's what you get! I'm Noah, and you must be Yume. Your grandma is looking for you. Oh, she's such a worry ward. I told her me and friend had some special training to do. Special training? But where's your fr... It's a pretty clever one. Okay, I'm glad you brought him up because, um, what is he? This is Friend, Yume's bestest buddy in the whole wide world. Oh, so you're protecting her. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Friend says he likes you. <laughs> Do you want to be friends with us too? Yeah, of course. Yippee! I just knew you would. Since we're friends, I might have fibbed a little. I actually want to leave home so I can go look for my mother. You're a traveler, aren't ya? Uh. I promise I'll do whatever I'm told, and I'll stay out of trouble, and I'll eat all my vegetables, and, and I won't wander away from friend. Just, please, 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 take me with you. Mm. <gasps> please, pretty please. Welcome to the ranks. Me and friend better go tell grandma that we're gonna look for mom. Wait, you're you're bringing him to town?
Challenge accepted. What? Just hate resorting to violence. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah! Last one. And stay the hell down. Didn't oh, know my no. aim could get any Excuse better. Me. told me everything. I'm worried sick that she'll get hurt, but I suppose if she has her big friend and she has you, just promise you'll look after her. Just hate resorting to violence. Ah, this. Yeah, yeah. Like it? Yeah. <laughs> we cleaned right up.
You back for a while, Gar? Emir's whinging again about how no one's ever around to help. What about you? He's sending me on recon up north. Says I work best unencumbered. North? How north? The Imp's border? I've got a bad feeling, Gar. Real bad. If you value your life, run while you can. Can't believe they're sending Sabine on recon. They really expect things to get that rough? Extra personnel to intercept here, here, and here. And we'll need surplus provisions. I really hope this is all just in her head. Emir. Hmm? Oh, how grand of you to show up. And where exactly have you wastrels been frittering away your time while I toil day and night? We've been working our butts off, buddy! I have orders for you, Gar. Not me. Noah here is acting captain for now. Ah, uh, yes. Apologies, oh great captain. Um, just Noah is fine. You expect me to bother with names? When so many of the Watch come and go as they please, without so much as a courtesy notification to yours truly. Yes, well, your orders then. West of Altusweiss is a village called Altfredin. They've complained of bandits in the area. You are to investigate, and if possible, put the bandits to rout. I consider yours the best team for this mission. Good luck, don't die, etc. Why'd you say we're the best team for this? Because you are. It's my job to find the right tool for the right job, and in this case, that's you. You've been under Gar's wing long enough that if push comes to stabbing, I assume you can handle yourself, yes? Fair enough.
You need a rest. Do come again whenever you need a lie down. Time. Um, where are we going again? West, the village of Alphadin. Let's get this show on the road. You must be from the watch. Very kind of you to arrive so quickly. Let me assemble the villagers. My name is Noah. I'm acting captain of this company. I hear you've got a bandit problem? Yes, that's right. Bless her ladyship for looking out for us. Raiding Alphadin and the neighboring villages, breaking our hunting traps, too. I was accosted on the way to market. They tore up my fields. I heard a merchant was attacked the next village over. Okay, so what do they look like? There were three of them. The one in charge had a beard. The fellow I saw was some creep in a hood. Someone told me the culprit was wearing pink and long sleeves. A trio of bearded men with pink hoods? That's some profile. Maybe you could give us some idea of where they're holed up. 
I heard they retreated west, but there's nothing out that way. Or perhaps there is. What do you mean? Southwest of here, this would have been ages ago, we once found the entrance to what we assumed was an old mine. We sealed the place up after some of the kids wandered in by mistake, but it's possible someone could have found it and opened it up again. On the one hand, it's our only lead. On the other hand, meh. Might as well see what we find. Which is potentially nothing. If so, we can scratch one possibility off the list, right? I guess. So how do we find this mine? We left a subtle marker near the entrance. I'll tell you what to look for. Okay, we'll check it out. Thank you, brave members of the Watch.